What's up, man? So you guys want to give this a shot? So, so do you guys consider yourself open-minded? No. No, you're not open-minded? A bit, yeah. A bit, right? So, do you guys like being lied to? Uh, kind of. <laughs> you like being lied to? Kind of, yeah. I don't think that's very honest of you. I mean, nobody likes being lied to, right? No, I mean, no one likes being lied to, but obviously, you know, they're like things that people say that you, that you can, you, you know, they're saying not to hurt you. I would say that you're, you're, you're good with ignoring, you oh, know, yeah. people's claims, right? You don't really... Do you the think? Truth, yeah. yeah, yeah. So let's say you you did uh, believe something that wasn't true, and it affected your entire life and existence. For example, mm -hmm. would that be something you would want to know? Uh, or you, know, you? Yeah. right? Yeah, right. Why not? Right? Maybe I don't know. I'm yeah. Not sure. Okay. So from one through ten, how open are you guys to having your beliefs challenged? From I mean, one to my, ten. My beliefs. Like like, like certain beliefs that you you currently hold right now okay. that you may not realize. How, how open-minded to having those beliefs, uh, I guess, question? I'll well, say a solid eight. A uh, solid eight? So you're pretty open to having your beliefs questioned, right? This, especially if you're wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. of course. Right? I mean, every, everyone is wrong in, in their own way. Like, even the people that they think that they're right. Not everybody knows everything. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, for it's, sure. It's, there's definitely a different perspective, but... I mean, look, both of us are very, very young. I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know? Obviously, if it were, like, toward the end of our lives, and we got our, our beliefs challenged, like, we, like, we were wrong, like, yeah. Let's say we like we believe in this, but the whole time it was this. It yeah, exactly. Right. Especially yeah. if it could be proven to you, right? You you'll yeah. be open to that, right? Yeah. Right. So this is the the main question, the main reason I'm doing this. Do you guys believe the Earth is a ball, like this? A ball? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I believe the Earth is round. So would would you, a sphere? Like yeah, like a three D. Like a three D sphere, yeah. right? Yeah. So. This is an official NASA image from 2012, and they admit that they don't take real photographs of the Earth um, from space. They actually admit they make them in a computer. So there are, all the photographs of the Earth as a ball are all CGI, so they don't exist. So if I was to ask you guys, why do you think photographs of the Earth as a ball don't exist? Uh, probably because you can't really get like a good image, or or like what you said is challenging what we believe in. Okay, exactly. So, what if I was to tell you that the reason photographs of the Earth don't exist is because they actually defy physics. So, these again, this is an official NASA image and they claim to have satellites orbiting the Earth. That's why they claim they take these pictures. So, they do tell us the radius of the Earth because they're supposedly going around this. So, they need to know the size of the Earth. So, they do tell us the radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles, which means there has to be curvature every mile and every mile it has to increase because they're claiming it's a curve, not a slope. So in the first mile, there's an eight inch drop, second mile, 32 inches, and by the third mile, there should be six feet of curvature. So if we went out to a giant lake, you know, a giant body of water that was at rest, we should be able to physically measure that curvature, six feet and three miles. But the lake, once it's at rest, the surface of that water is always gonna be level, in other words, horizontal. So, so a physical measurement of the earth, water in specific, like a giant lake, will debunk the ball earth claim because the physics of water proves that water doesn't hump doesn't have the ability to hump. It always collapses and forms an equal surface, which is level, which is horizontal. So again, a physical measurement will be the number one proof to debunk the globe, because they're telling us that level means curve. But reality, water shows us that it's not. So respectfully, if I was to ask you guys, what's the number one reason that makes you believe that the Earth is a ball? Well, because we're surrounded by a cave that people believe that the Earth is a ball. I mean, look, if I was surrounded by people that believe the Earth is flat, most likely, I'd believe that the Earth is flat. If I believe some people that believe in Buddha, for example, I'd probably believe in Buddha. So you're saying it's like social engineering or, or yes, social pressure is why you believe it? A majority of the things we hold dearly to us are like a, our beliefs, for example, they aren't ours. Okay. It's just social conditioning. Right. Do I have to believe that if I breathe water, I will drown? Or is that just a fact? Exactly, yeah. right? So there are things in this reality we couldn't prove, right? Yeah. So metal is more dense than, than wood, for example, right? That's, that's like we can prove that because we could get a scale and, and show that metal is more dense and way more than wood, right? Especially wood floats in water and metal doesn't. So again, when we're talking about physics, again, those are physical properties of, of matter. Again, water, the physical properties of water shows us that it's impossible for the Earth to be a globe, you know? Especially because you know water is always level. So water is the number one proof to debunk so the globe. There was there was a video. With yeah. Like this this man he was um he was testing if the Earth was flat or okay. if it was round. Okay. And it was there was a circle that okay. they point a light through it. Yeah. And there was another cir circle like around like 11 feet away or like somewhat. And they pointed the flashlight and the guy said if the flashlight is visible 
through the holes through yeah. the holes yeah that means it's flat and if it's not from the other hole yeah that means it's round and they pointed the flashlight and it, it didn't go through didn't okay go through. so that experiment you're talking about a laser experiment over yeah. a body of water right so those experiments are being pushed deliberately and i'm gonna tell you why what happens when you shine a laser in water for example does the laser refracts. exactly refracts so it doesn't go straight so the air we live in it's basically like a moisture so when you shine a laser through the air, you're always going to have refraction. You're always going to have inconclusive measurements. So a real measurement, again, it will be a physical measurement. So this, we don't have to worry about refraction, right? We could build a level structure, a horizontal structure above a, a body of water, and we should be able to see that curvature, you know? But the reality is, again, water, we could make this structure 10 times this length, so 30 miles, and the, the curvature will still be zero. But in, in 30 miles, there should be like 600 feet of curvature. So what do you believe in? So I, I don't have beliefs. So it's either I know something or I don't. So I know water is always level when contained. Yeah, do you know if the earth is round or flat? So flat, I would say flat earth is a psyop. And I'm going to tell you the difference between level and flat. So flat, I could have a flat surface like this, right? But if it's in a slant, it's not level. It's a, you could say it's a slope. You could have a flat slope, yeah, right? Earth has an axis so here's my thing. Something that's level has orientation, right? So in order for something to have orientation, it needs to have motion, it needs to have direction. So the earth does have orientation, it's level because it's moving. So the earth is in constant motion. So the uh, earth being level is perpendicular to the motion vector, which is, uh, so a lot of uh, flat earthers, over 95% of them, again, they believe the earth is motionless. So again, they're just falling into another psyop. So again, that uh, basically has no real proof. It's just like the globe earth, it's just ideas. So again, the globe Earth and motionless flat Earth both claim that objects accelerate down in free fall. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, Do you sure. Have any religious beliefs? Oh no, 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 no. I'm not religious at all. So I, I stick with what I know. You know. So if I know something, again, I know it. And if I don't, I'm okay uh, with saying that I don't know. You know. So you believe in the facts. That's it. And what? So you believe in science? Well, I don't have to have. I don't have to believe in science. I understand science. Again. Yeah, so water you, being. You believe in only facts, though, right? Well, I understand facts. Again, belief, I would say it's like a, it's like a made-up word. To Again, a belief is you, ha you commit to an idea. That's what a belief is. You, you're committing to an idea without actually knowing it's true. Because... No, sir, I'm sorry. No, no. We gotta go. No, no worries, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for the chat. Here, you could check out some of my conversations. I go to universities mainly, and uh, that's my channel right there. Check it out. Yeah, man. Have a good one. Yeah, man. You too. Take care. Yeah, no worries. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. I remember you from... <laughs> so, same thing. So, my case was dropped. So, if you want to call the cops again, I'll, I'll go ahead and talk to them. Okay, and so the district the district attorney dismissed my case. Okay. So, so, you know already you can't be here. I could be here. Case. I could be here. Again, no, you Look, I don't want to talk to you because you already, you know, escalated the first time when I was arrested. So, if you want to call the cops again, you go ahead and do that. I don't want to speak to you. Okay. And, and that's the most respectful I can be towards you because you already violated my rights. I so, did. I okay. told you not to set up a tripod. Yeah, and I could do that here. No, you but, can't. No, you can't. Okay, you want to call the cops. That has nothing to do with freedom the of speech. Is, the, the that district, has nothing to do with freedom of press. Again, not a tripod. <laughs> okay. okay, you do so what I you got to do. Told you. Okay, you do what you got to do. This is the guy that escalated the situation last time. So, Because of him, I got arrested last time. Illegally arrested because my case was dropped. And he's doing it again. Look at that. That's the guy right there. So, so yeah, I'm gonna make sure let them know that I'm live streaming this time. So, would you be surprised to know that the police deleted my footage once my case was dropped? They illegally deleted my footage. I wonder why. <laughs> you can ask me to leave, but I'm gonna refuse. This is private property. It's open to the public. I've gone through this before. I've gone through this before. I've gone through. The, I don't have to listen to you. You can walk away. No, Seriously, I mean, you, you can walk away. Property, so no, I'm not gonna leave. Already to leave. Not gonna leave. I'll leave on the threat of arrest. A, I'll leave on the not. threat of arrest when the cops get here, and I'll follow up with a civil lawsuit. So that's you when I'll leave. That. Yeah. But I'm telling you, you can't set up a tripod here. Yes, I can. You're soliciting. You're soliciting. Free speech. I know, but you're soliciting your. your it's free speech. Your site. It's free can't speech. Can't do that here. It's free speech. 
not here on this property. Yes, I can. Advise. I've gone through this before. Okay. My case was dropped, and it doesn't I, matter if it's dropped. You just, <laughs> you just don't want you here. All right. Okay. I guess it's gonna take for me to sue the department here you can, at, you can and then. Do that too, all right. Uh, I'll, I'll go. You to leave. So once they come and they kick me out on the third of arrest, then I'll go ahead and file a lawsuit and I'll go through those right. means. And then, and then you'll be banned from this property. I can't be banned yes, for. Yes, you can. Okay, we'll see. You can be banned if I committed a crime. Nope. Having a tripod in public is not a crime. Nope. Not being <laughs> now you're trespassing, so I can't be trespassed from public. Is that is that? A crime? Yeah, from private property. This is open to the public. The north side. Oh my God, this guy is so so dense. It's so ridiculous. You're, you're arrested for trespass because it's private property. Listen to me, private property, and we've asked you to leave. It's not private. It's open to the public. So it's private property, like I told you. Sure. It's private property. You're invited here as long as you follow the rules of the law. Sure. Okay, so you've been... Well, I'm done talking to you. I'm just going to wait for the cops. Okay. And like I say, I've already asked you to leave. So yeah. Now you're trespassing. Sure. Okay? Sure. Quit turning that towards me. I don't want to be recorded. Well, then you could walk away. If you don't want to be recorded, you can walk away. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna wait now. It's, let's turn into a First Amendment audit now. Look at this. You got this security. You got that security over there. Look at that. Look at that. They just surround me. Look at that. So you got that. And then you had a. And then we had a couple of other security guards walking back and forth with their little cart. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, if I get kicked out today, I will definitely be following up with a with a lawsuit. They'll just be giving they'll just be giving me more ammo if they kick me out today. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I can't believe this guy's coming with the same rhetoric as last time. You can't have your tripod here. Like, you can't make this up, man. I know, it's pretty annoying, these guys. We'll see. Oh, look, you got another security guard over there now. It's like, these guys are obsessed. Oh, man. There we go. Let's do the white angle. Oh. So apparently everybody that has a phone out right now, I guess tripods, that was the issue, right? Not even the phone recording is the tripod. <laughs> Damn, this guy needs to lose. I can't believe he's still employed. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, at least I got one conversation so far. Like, somebody needs to tell this fool that people are allowed to have a tripod out in public, especially if they're recording. That's like saying, oh, you can't have your backpack on the ground when you're just standing. Like, imagine you're carrying some bags, right, because you're shopping, and then you just stand right here and you put the bags down. Now, imagine some dipshit coming towards you telling you you can't have your bags right there. So, and then tell you that you gotta leave now. And if you don't leave, you'll be trespassed and arrested. Uh, so putting something on the ground is a crime now? You know, okay, so the police are, are coming, so we'll see. Again, I'll leave on the threat of arrest, but... But we'll see how this goes. How's it going? How's it going, sir? How's it going? Hey, so the reason why we're here is there's no photography or anything. We have the code of conduct here. Yeah. 
Okay. You're not allowed, so unfortunately you got to So on. I actually have gone. So just I want to make it clear right now. Okay. I will leave under threat of arrest because I'm, I'm not trying to get arrested, right? So yeah. under threat of arrest, I will leave. But I am going to let you know that I have gone through this before. I have been illegally arrested from here before, mm -hmm. and my case was dismissed. So if you want to contact the district attorneys or maybe your chief, to let them know or ask them if I'm if I'm if I can record from here, I would appreciate that. But again, I will leave on the third of arrest. But if I if I that's, do that's if I do get kicked out and my rights get violated, I will follow uh, follow up with a civil rights okay, lawsuit. Well, that's up to the DA if they want to pick up the charge or not. Yeah, like but, I said, um, with this, we don't allow photography or videography here. I understand I, that. And I get you said that the charges were dropped last time. And but and I don't want to go through that again. The rules, okay? Again, but the rules don't supersede my, the Constitution. That's my point. And this is a First Amendment protected activity, freedom of press. So I'm doing a story right now. Okay, so this is also private property, which you're not. Allowed. I actually went through this before. They actually tried to get me with the Pinnacle 60201. That yeah, states, that's, uh, yeah, you're trespassing. They, they ask you to leave. They dismissed that. Uh, it wasn't applicable in this situation. That's the. Reason. So this is a letter from the district's attorney's office regarding my unlawful arrest that happened at Victoria Gardens on December of 2022. I wonder why they didn't file any charges. Let's look at Penal Code 60201 to see if it applies. Refusing or failing to leave land, real property, or structures belonging to or lawfully occupied by another and not open to the general public upon being requested to leave. So keywords here, and not open to the general public. So even if Victoria Gardens was completely private property, which is not because the streets are public and the sidewalks are also public, um, but even if it was considered private property, if it's open to the general public, it's considered public. And anything that you can see in public, you have the right to video record. I, I suggest you guys... Well, if you want the code of conduct... I've, I've seen this before. They showed it to okay. me last time. So if you guys have a supervisor, can I speak to a supervisor? He's not here right now, so we can't. Well, do you guys have and somebody else? And the same thing. Yeah. I, I, that's fine. That's fine. I would just like to speak to a supervisor. Um, what's your name and batch number, by the way? Just so I know. Sanders and George 6204. And what's your name and batch number? Robinson 1909. If you want to file a complaint, you can go down to our May station. But Again, I will leave under threat of arrest. I need to know that you guys will arrest me if I don't leave. That way I can have standing in court when I do file a civil lawsuit. Because, again, I've been arrested before, so you guys will just be giving me ammo here. So I just need to make it clear that you guys will arrest me under threat of arrest. I need that on video. By the way, I'm live streaming because last time you guys deleted my footage. Not you guys in particular, but the officers that, that, that are confiscating my cameras deleted both of my footage. So I am live streaming just to let you guys know. So if you guys try to do that again, the video is oh, going to yeah, be saved. They, they asked you to leave, so no, yes, no. you're going to have to leave. Okay, yes, under threat of arrest. Yes. So so I will, I, I, if I don't leave, I will be uh, arrested, is what you're saying. And before I leave, because I am going to leave, what crime would that be again? It's going to be trespassing. Trespass and what crime did I commit to be trespassed from public? Because I need to commit a crime in public to be trespassed. You're, I can't. This is private property. It's open they to ask the public. You to leave. So they can ask anyone to leave right now, and they have to leave. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. That doesn't seem like a, like you know, okay, like well, freedom. I'm gonna sit here and keep no, 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 that's fine. You. So, so I just want to make sure. So you got to move yourself along, okay? If we come back or we get another call about you, yes, you will be arrested. Okay, so okay. I'm leaving on the threat of arrest. All right, cool. All right, all right, cool. All right, so I am gonna have to get a, a a lawyer now involved in this. All right, so I might go to uh, to the police station here, um, and uh, I guess start filing a complaint. But. Uh, Yeah. I whatever these guys say to you, just don't let it get to you. Trust me, I I, I whatever, said, <laughs> yeah, whatever they say to him, don't let it don't don't let it don't let anything they say get to this <laughs> Nah, I've been arrested here before actually. Yeah, I was in my, my case. My cousin and I were watching your your thing right now. Oh really? Yeah, it <laughs> yeah. was and we were like you're, you're, you're protected under the first amendment. Exactly. They're they trying can. to say this is private, but it's obviously open, no, to, the open to the public. Exactly. I can skate here, I can film here, do whatever. Yeah. Maybe not skate, I, I get it, because sometimes yeah. they do have signs for that, but yeah. filming is a first amendment protected activity. Exactly. It's freedom of press, just and, like freedom of speech. I'm, I'm here to tell you it's, that's, that's fucked up. No, it is. So it is. I'm going to have to go to the police station right now. And and whatever they do, dude, <laughs> you, you, keep on, you keep on staying here no, every yeah. fucking day until, <laughs> until something changes, bro. Hey, man, I appreciate that, man. Hey. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, appreciate it. Man. Yeah, man. Have a good one. Appreciate you, man. <laughs>